guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? You are seeing this video, which is Wings Update Part or update number two, part one. And you are going to be seeing this sometime during the week of September 12th. Um, I have said in the past that I have technical issues uploading videos, so I don't know what day you're going to see this, but you'll see it sometime this week. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. If you could favorite it and favorite a few items, that really does help a whole lot. Um, I do live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we have one rescue dog. His name is Camo. So for this year, along with the past couple years, <clears throat> we have um, helped a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. So all of the links for Wings will be down below in the description box. Uh, their website, their wish list on Amazon. And if you have not already selected a charity of your choice for smile.amazon, com. You can go and do that. Uh, so they have uh, agreed to accept handmade donations uh, from you guys, <laughs> and they have a specific list that they have um, given us. And there is a different item for each month. So for this month, which is the month of September, they have requested hat and scarf sets hat and cowl sets. Uh, these sets can be knitted, crocheted, loom knitted, uh, store bought if you want. Uh, they can include gloves, fingerless gloves, uh, fingerless mittens if you want, and they can be any size. You can also do a hooded cowl or a hooded scarf. Uh, so if you have any questions about what you can donate, please send me an email, but those are their specific requests. And this isn't like a willy nilly thing. This is, uh, they're gonna be doing a coat drive in October. And we did collect hats and scarves last year, but we only, we didn't request sets and people were a little frustrated that they couldn't, frustrated that they could not find a set. So that is what they are requesting for September. For October, they are requesting loveys. And the pattern that I use for loveys, um, and you don't have to use this pattern, you can use any pattern you want, but I use the video tutorial from Zelda and RJ3 here on YouTube. Uh, I will link her, actually her lovey pattern or lovey tutorial is always linked in every description box of all of my videos. Uh, you can hand make the lovey like the little lovey head, um, but I do it the way Z taught me how to do it. Uh, and then for November, if you want to get a head start, uh, you can donate toys for boys. Um, so that can be whatever you think a boy would like. And they are accepting two baby blankets per person. So um, check out the list down below. It is always down there. It is well. It is as well on the Facebook group. So come and join us over there too. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll see that this is part one. There's actually going to be three parts. So I did pick up last Wednesday and this past Saturday, and I have 33 packages. Uh, so in order to keep the video uh, length uh, reasonable, I'm going to do three separate. So we're going to have 11 donations for each video. So if you are seeing this, uh, watch in a day or two to see part two and then after that part three. Like I said, it'll be sometime this week, the week of September 12th. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, remember, if you can put a note in any of your packages uh, for what your patterns that you use, that would be great. Um, if you don't put a card in there, that's fine. Just write wings on the box. Remember, I always encourage you to donate locally um, and uh, it, you know, it saves you money on postage. Postage is crazy and it does help your community too. And I always, always say, uh, please leave a positive comment down below if you see something you like. Um, let's give some encouraging words to the people who are donating because uh, I do appreciate them and so do the people at Wings. All right, so we're going to get started. Uh, so we have 11 packages for this video. And if you watch part two and part three, I'm not going to go through the whole introductory thing. <laughs> so I'll let you know in those videos. All right, the first package I got was in a big purple bag. And I got a card. I'll show you the card first. And it is from Lynette at Charmed Grammy Crochet. So anyone that I talk about that has a YouTube channel, I will make sure to link them down below. Now Lynette has, um, was I special requested her to help me out with this project here for September, along with a whole bunch of other YouTubers. So if you watch a lot of people on YouTube, you might have already seen a couple people um, that have been encouraging you to make sets for wings. And I do appreciate everyone who, 
who I harassed <laughs> to do this with me. <laughs> so um, what Lynette was doing is she is doing a, um, is it the album cover thing? It's something with Judy at Witch Piece Craft where they were doing some kind of project based on an album cover. And what she was doing instead of whatever the project was that they had asked for, she was doing hat and scarf sets. So that's what she did. So every time she would see an album cover, she would do uh, a hat and scarf set. Anyway, I'll read you the card. <laughs> Rose, sorry meeting up in person would have been a dream come true, but wasn't gonna work out for me this time. These are for wings. Happy hooking your friend, Lynette. So I actually got to meet Lynette once already and we were hoping to meet up again, but we didn't get to. So she sent a bunch of sets and I'm not gonna go through, I'm gonna show you each one, but if you want more information on any of these, she talked about these in every single one of her videos where she talked about the project she was doing with Judy. Okay, so, and I know a lot of these were loom knitted on her knitting machine, you know, that thingy. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you. Here is the first one. It's rainbow colors. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You guys, I'm not going to take them out of the packages if they come in packages because number one, I'll never get them back in. And number two, this will keep them clean. So here is the first one. And then we have a red, white, and blue one. So I can see there is the hat. That's yeah, so pretty. And this is not loom, well, that's loom-knitted, but the scarf is crocheted. Beautiful, I love them. Actually, I'm gonna throw them down there on the bag. And then, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, but it's not like I didn't know these were coming, but you guys should see them as well. Look at the scarf. I love that, so pretty. Okay, here is, oh my gosh, I just, the colors are gorgeous. The loom knitted stuff looks absolutely beautiful. And there is the scarf. And then we have one that is crocheted, and this is a divine hat. And it's sparkly yarn, you guys. There is, um, it looks, it's not a divine scarf, but it's a different scarf in the same yarn. And then we have, oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the hat you can see the pom-pom right there and then here is the scarf and it's got a pom-pom on each end instead of the tassels and this is all loom knitted oh my gosh these are so pretty okay and then i think the hat is right there folded and then there is the scarf oh, that's really pretty yarn and then we have this one kind of got mushed <laughs> this is really pretty too I don't know if you guys can see the gray. Did you actually hand knit this, Lynette? This is beautiful. You did a lot of work for people here in Chicago, and I appreciate that. Okay, here is a hand crocheted one. That is the hat right there with a really pretty white pom-pom. And there is the scarf, and that's crocheted. And then we have, oh, this is um, waffle stitch. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. There is the scarf with the fringes right there. And then we have one more. Oh my gosh, such a pretty color. I love it. Look at that. I don't know, I thought about getting a knitting machine, guys, but I would just rather crochet. <laughs> So, Lynette, thank you so much for all the sets. They're all absolutely beautiful. I've been watching you do this for about a month or two or more, and um, I appreciate all of your support for Wings, and I we, we still need to get together maybe next month or in November. Okay, Well, I don't know. November is iffy with weather. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So, thank you so much, Lynette, and she will be linked down below, so go and check out her channel. If you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed to her. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package I got is from Sarah and she's from Texas. Look at that awesome card. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she says, hello, Rose. I'm so thankful for the chance to donate to Wings again. I wasn't sure I'd get this done, but I did. The yarn bands are included. The cowl and scarf don't have patterns. I just did H uh, half double crochet. The hats are a bag o' day pattern. Thank you so much for everything you do for Wings, for giving us the opportunity to help from Sarah. Well, Sarah, I appreciate you guys um, offering to help people here in Chicago that you'll never meet, <laughs> that I will never meet. Um, it does get really, really cold here, and that's one of the reasons why we asked for something to cover your hat, and, your head, and your neck. Um, 
if if you have skin exposed sometimes here you can get frostbite pretty quick it gets really cold okay so the first set she used yarn bee glowing and the color is called sage in song in case you guys are wondering that's from hobby lobby and here is the scarf oh my gosh it's so pretty she said it's just half double crochet and here is the hat and she said that's a bag o day pattern so that's beautiful and then the second set she sent was using big twist classic and the color on this one is called fun brights so that's the yarn she used for this one and there is the scarf oh it's so pretty and there is the hat Sarah, thank you so much for sending these beautiful sets for the people at Wings. I really do appreciate it. Remember, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com, or just leave me a comment down below, and I do reply to every single comment on my videos. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box came from Julie and she's from Washington and I did not see a note in the box, but that is okay. Remember, you guys don't have to send a note, it's fine, but I do see three sets in here. Um, so I don't know what pattern they are. I think this one right here, the hat is from Bag O'Day. It looks like the chocolate bon bon beanie. And look at that beautiful yarn. Oh my gosh, the color is gorgeous. And then we have a um, scarf looks like just half double crochets and this looks like a either a loom knitted or a hand knit. no that's hand knitted that's gorgeous hat to go with it oh my gosh these are so pretty <gasps> and then here is this the third set that was in the package and this looks like a cowl and it's tweedy yarn it's so pretty and there is a hand knit hat to go with it oh my goodness gracious these are absolutely beautiful. Thank you so, so much for sending these. Remember, you guys don't have to put a card in the package. Um, if you do, it's just a bonus for everyone because then they can copy what you did. Um, so thank you so much for sending these. They're beautiful. If I knew how to knit, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next two boxes come from Martha and she's from Missouri and she sent this card. And let's see what the card says. Uh, we've got, hi Rose, here are some winter sets for wings, either hat and scarf or hat and cowl. I have labeled each set with the yarn and patterns, the patterns I used. I didn't have a box large enough to fit them all in, so they are coming in two boxes. Thank you for all you do for wings from Martha. P.S. Please do not include me in the month end drawing. Okay, so she's talking about at the end of every month, we do thank you gifts. Um, and it's free. It's if you donate, you get entered into a drawing and you don't have to be a part of that if you don't want to so you could just write me a note all right so let's see what she got here okay so she's got notes inside each of the packages and this first one here says it's a ribbed hat and scarf set the yarn is premier puzzle called dominoes and the tutorial is the easiest hat ever and easiest scarf ever by Jonah Martinez. And I'm pretty sure that is on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you guys the color of the scarf. And there's the brim of the hat right there. So if you guys are interested in doing this pattern, um, there is the hat. Oh, it does look very easy. I'm gonna have to go check that out. So there is the first one. And then the second one here, oh, it says contains wool. So I'll let you guys look at the colors. Hat and infinity scarf set. Yarn is Lion Brand Scarfy. The color is eggplant and taupe. The pattern is by Left and Knots called the Snowball Beanie and the Snowball Infinity Scarf. So you see the scarf and then there is the beanie with the pom-pom on it. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I have a ton of scarfy and I haven't used it yet. I should probably use it. <laughs> okay, here is the next one I'll let you look at. It's the Waffle Stitch Hat and Scarf Set. Yarn is impeccable. Color is charcoal tweed. The hat pattern is by Fiber Spider. And the scarf pattern is by Fiber Flux. So there, if you can see, um, it's it's kind of dark, so it's hard to tell, um, but you can see all the pretty flecks and that it's a waffle pattern. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, here is the next one. It is a hat and cowl set. The yarn is Craftsmart Value Tweed. Color is silver. The hat pattern is a divine hat. Oh, I love that. And the cowl pattern is It's Fall Y'all Cowl by Crochet with Claire, one of my favorite cowl patterns. 
So there is the hat, you can see that. And then I don't know if you can kind of tell that what the cowl looks like there. I, that's one of my, well, two of my favorite patterns right there in one bag. Okay, so then this is the last one from the first box. It says hat and cowl set. The yarn is Red Heart Super Saver. Color is turquoise and real teal. The hat is the Snowdrift Hat by Yarnspirations.com. And the cowl is It's Fall Y'all by Crochet with Claire. So there is the hat. And then that is the cowl that I love so much. It's kind of, the, the yarn is absolutely gorgeous on that. Um, but it's hard to see it in the bag, I know but I, I don't want to take it out. Okay, so she's got a second box, so let me get the second box, hang on. All right, so there's three more sets in the second box. This one says hat and scarf set, yarn is Karen Latte Cakes, the color is Blue Horizon. The hat is the Snowball Beanie by Left and Knots, and the scarf is just a C2C, so no pattern. So you can see the corner to corner, there's the scarf, and it's a little hard to see the hat. Oh my gosh, latte cakes are so soft. <laughs> okay, this one says girl's hat and a ruffled scarf. The yarn is Karen One Pound. Color is dark pink. The hat is the Snowball Beanie by Left in Knots. And the scarf is a ruffled scarf by Mama in a Stitch. So there's the hat and look at the fun pom-pom there. <gasps> oh my goodness. And there is the scarf right there. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Divine Hat and Cowl Set, Karen One Pound, the color is dark pink. Uh, the hat is the Divine Hat and the cowl is the Seashell Cowl by Jonah Martinez. So you can actually get both the Divine Hat and the Divine Cowl pattern, which they call it a million different things, but both of these are available on Jonah Martinez's website. Um, YouTube channel and they're called the seashell cowl and I think the seashell hat so go and check out Jana Martinez if you want to get the tutorial for these two so Martha thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful sets I really do appreciate it uh, remember we have until the end of the month to get your sets in if you could please have them in um, no later than the end of September that would be amazing so they can have this all ready for their coat drive all right let's get to the next one all right you guys the next box comes from Kim and she's from California and I have a note here and it says hi Rose uh, number one oh she's got them all labeled okay so every bag has a number on it oh, that's amazing <laughs> okay she's got tags on these too care instructions and she's got a marked off machine wash gentle dry flat 100% acrylic oh my goodness that's amazing I'm going to show you guys the tag right there Okay, so she says this one is a turtleneck hoodie or scooty or a to toodle, tootie, tootie. <laughs> YouTube tutorial is an updated version by Hooks and Needles and the yarn is Big Twist in Soft Purple. So if you guys wanna check out that tutorial, there's that one. And then the second one she's got here, oh my gosh, I'll let you see this. It says, it's the Camel Stitch Brim Beanie YouTube tutorial by Sheepishly, Sheepishly Sharing and used Bag o Day Thicket Stitch YouTube tutorial to make the scarf. The yarn is Loops and Threads Flex called Silver Lining. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at that, you guys. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Kimmy. Number three is, oh my gosh, I'll let you look at the pretty yarn on that. Number three is a neck warmer YouTube tutorial from Bag o Day number 546 and the Divine Hat YouTube tutorial from Fiber Spider. Yes, he's another one where you can get that tutorial. The yarn is Loops and Threads Flex Berry Pink and it is a small adult sized beanie. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Just look at the look at the stitches on there. That's gorgeous. Okay. And the fourth one here. Oh, so pretty. Look at the yarn. This is pretty stingray wrap pattern by Expression Fiber Arts Chandy. Made mine smaller to use as a bandana wrap and head wrap ear warmer pattern by Frayed Knot and topped it off with a cute flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the flower. If you guys can see it right there. YouTube tutorial by Melanie Ham, Yarn Bee Urban Chic Yarn, the color is Berry. Attached washing instructions on each set. See you next month from Kimmy. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much, Kimmy, for all the information on this and for the little care instructions. That's absolutely amazing. That is 
just perfect. Thank you so much, Kimmy. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Jennifer and she's from New York. And I got that card and it says, Dear Rose, here are the winter sets I promised. All are connected to each other with yarn. All of the sets are for teenagers or small adults. The blue and white set does not have a ball band. It was a mill end and it was made on a long loom. Looking forward to next year and making more donations from Jennifer. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing for doing this for people that you don't know. It's awesome. Okay, so here is the blue and white where she does not sure um, what the yarn is. There is the hat and there is the scarf. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. She said that was done on a long loom. Okay, so this next one, uh, she used Premier Puzzle yarn. And let's see if we can, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the scarf. That's beautiful, I love it. Okay, and then here is the hat to go with it. That is so pretty. I love the puzzle yarn, I think it works up gorgeous. Okay, this next one here is using a Lion Brand cupcake. And the color is Jelly Bean. And so here is the hat and here is the scarf. Oh my gosh, this is, I think even like a bigger child can wear this one too. That is so pretty. And thank you so much for attaching them. That's awesome. And then we have one more from Jennifer. This one is using, I love this yarn print. And the color is called Blossomopolis. And it's that from Hobby Lobby. And here is the hat. That's a nice size hat. I think a regular adult could wear that. And then there is the scarf to go with it. Jennifer, thank you so much for sending in all these beautiful sets. Um, I'm amazed at your talent, you guys. And thank you so much for letting us know the patterns because I'm stealing all your patterns. <laughs> all right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package came from Terry and Terry is from Maryland. And there's a couple sets and they're all tied together. So I'm gonna see if I can show you how cute this is. So there's a little squiggly thing here, guys. And then there is the hat, it's folded up. You can see there's the top and there's the brim. And there is the cowl to go with it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And then here is a girl after my own heart. There is a purple hat. So there's the top and there's the bottom. And then it's tied together. There is the scarf to go with it. Oh my goodness, these are just so sweet. Uh, I'm thinking this is a kid set. There is the hat, it's folded up right there. Maybe not, maybe it's adult. And there is the scarf to go with it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh man, Terry, what is that stitch? That's beautiful. Here is another one. This is the hat right here. This feels like a Karen, what were these, um, birthday cakes? I love that, it's so chunky. And there's the scarf. You guys want to check out that yarn? It's so cool. Okay, this one wasn't tied together, but that is totally okay. There is the hat and the scarf. Wow, Terry, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful, beautiful sets. Um, they're not going to know what to pick because there's going to be so much for them to choose from which is not a bad problem to have, right? <laughs> all right, we got three more boxes, guys. All right, you guys, the next three boxes are from the same person. What? It's from Anne Marie. She's from New York. I just opened the first box and I didn't see a note. So there might be one in the second and the third box. We'll check and see. But we're going to show you what she put in the first box. First of three boxes. And you guys, it's not a contest. So you can send in one set or you can send in 10 sets or you can send in no sets. Please, I, I don't want anyone to feel guilty. Um, you know, some of us work full time and we can't crochet as much and some people have all the time in the world and I wish that was me. <laughs> so please do not feel obligated or sad that you couldn't send in anything or more than one or whatever. Remember, this is a no apology channel, okay? I'm pointing my fingers underneath this hat. <laughs> Okay, so she put everything inside the hat. So I think this is just a scarf. So I'll show you the scarf rolled up in there. <laughs> That's awesome. And there is the hat. So this looks like it's loom knitted. And then we have another one. Oh my gosh. So there is the scarf. And there is the hat. These are gorgeous. Okay, so Anne Marie just confirmed that these are all like loom knitted because that's what they look like to me. So there is the scarf. And then there is the hat. They're so pretty. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what, I 
like the loom knitted stuff. I think it looks gorgeous. Here is the scarf rolled up in there. And there is the hat. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Okay, there's two more like that. So there is the scarf and the hat. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, oh my gosh, this one's even prettier. I don't know, blue, turquoise blue. Yes, thank you very much. There is the scarf and there is the hat. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have some divine sets. Okay, so um, inside the hat is a cowl. You can see that right there. And again, you can get the divine hat pattern and the divine cowl pattern. It's just called, um, whatever I said before, shells, something shells. Uh, from Jana Martinez. If you want just the hat, you can get that from Fiber Spider as well. So there's one divine set. Here is a second one. There's the cowl and there is the hat. Okay, here is a third one and it's purple. Don't worry, I have a lot of purple stuff. I won't take it. <laughs> there's the cowl and there is the hat. Oh my gosh, these are just so pretty. <gasps> Okay, I need to know what yarn you used for this because this is gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. So those are all, this was just the first box, you guys. Here is the last set that was in the box. There is a scarf and then there is the hat. These are just amazing. Okay, so that was box one of three. Let me get box number two. All right, so I have box two here and they're all like all mushed together again. So I'm not gonna show you the scarves, but just know that there are scarves inside these. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Anne Marie, did you do anything all like last month except make these? Cause these are amazing. Okay, so here is one, it's just solid pink. Oh my gosh, look at that one. I love this green color. That is so cool. Oh wait, this one. See, like every time I think I have a favorite, it changes. Cause look at that like neon -y orange there. Oh my gosh. And these all have scarves inside of them. Look at that one, so pretty. Okay, now I think I have my favorite. <laughs> it's purple and there's the scarf. Oh my goodness, scarf and hat scarf in there and hat these are just perfect scarf and hat the box is right here I'm just throwing it in the box you guys <laughs> scarf and hat these are just amazing Anne Marie let me know in the comments are these difficult to make like I know I see people like Lynette from term Grammy is always doing stuff on her loom but is this like a pain or is this like easy I always think it's gonna be quick, but painful. <laughs> that one's super pretty. I mean, they're all super pretty, you guys, but some are just prettier than others. Look at that. And we have a couple more from this box. These are just awesome. I, sh I think I have a loom knitted hat. Yes, from Crochet A Canada. I bought one from, from George. <laughs> okay, this is not um, loom knitted. This is crocheted, so pretty. And then this green one. Yes, thank you so much. So pretty. Oh my gosh, Anne Marie. And there's a third box from her. Let me go and grab it, guys. Okay, so here's the third package from Anne Marie. And there are six more hat and scarf sets. Is this incredible or what? So there's the first one scarf and hat. Oh my gosh, Anne Marie. This is so much yarn and so much work. Thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful sets. Look at the purples in there. Of course, I'm interested in the purples. And look at how pretty that is. Yes, that's definitely true to color. Like just a hint of neon green right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys, that is it for part one. So um, like I said, this is gonna be coming out sometime in the week of September 12th. Uh, keep your eye out in the next couple days for part two and part three. Please, uh, if you can like and share this video, that would be amazing. And remember to leave a positive comment down below in the in the comment section. And um, let me know what you think of the hats. And please give these people some positive energy and thanks for all of their time and effort in donations. And know that I appreciate you guys too. All right, so that is all I have for this video. I'm sure I will see you again very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.